Hey there guys, I'm Martins Customs Limited and I love making popular culture products for movies, games, comics. And Spider-Man 2 is finally coming out for the PS5. So obviously I'm making a custom PS5. And I was so happy to hear that Venom is going to be the main villain of this game. Um, because I've always wanted to do a Spider-Man versus Venom piece. Uh, I think Venom is by far one of my top 10 characters across all genres from you know horror to games whatever absolutely love the concept love the character too i think the venom and character is just an artist's dream uh, i mean it's been done many many times on the internet here's some examples of venom versus spider-man suit the black suit either taking over the spider suit or spider-man trying to get out of the suit which is a, a great concept um, I just think he's a great concept for artists because the tentacles can be done in so many different ways. He's been done so many ways in movies and comics and just the idea of these two Spider-Men that are so opposite but so similar in the same way and the tentacles being a part of it, it being a symbiote. Just the whole concept is amazing. The concept I personally went for was the suit just taking over Spider-Man because it's kind of hard to put arms on a PS5. So the idea was that Venom has just got on the Spider-Man suit, he's taken over and then on the other side of the suit, he has now become black suit Spider-Man, the evil version of Spider-Man. And uh, there's a slightly darker theme. You know, I always like to try and tell a story when I make a piece of artwork and the idea is that he's just being taken over and now he's being taken over and you're probably playing the game as a villain now. Uh, if you haven't checked out these guys' channels, guys, obviously go and give them a watch. As you can see, their artwork is top tier. So moving back to the concept, uh, I haven't got a huge amount of footage of the start of the spider suit because it's pretty self-explanatory. I masked it. I put in the Spider-Man pattern with a webbing pattern that I found. It's just something you use for washing. Then I masked the blue areas, colored those in, and then I spent hours and hours cutting and taking masking tape off so I could spray the webbing off so that it could be glossed. Now for the interesting bit though, the tentacles. Uh, there's a bunch of ways I could have gone about this. Um, personally I wanted the tentacles to be very purposeful, you know, very large, like not just those individual tiny little tentacles that you see in the film. Uh, partially because of the structural integrity of putting that on the PS5 but also because I wanted each tentacle to look like it's getting closer and closer to taking over the suit. And here's a visual representation of that, look, closer and closer, taking over the suit. So the next stage was making a pearlescent purple resin mould of the tentacles and then I airbrushed top down with a slightly lighter purple to get the highlights. I put a black wash on top and then lastly, I put a slightly lighter blue overbrush, again top down to get all the highlights of the tentacles. After that, I added some UV resin veins in Venom fashion across all of the tentacles. And then lastly, I hit it with a top coat crystal clear enamel, which is, you know, very high gloss top coat. But, you know, whenever you see a Venom model that really portrays Venom the way he should look. He's super slimy. You know, he looks like you're touching me. Oh, it's goopy, mate. It's weird, right? So I really wanted to get it on there. So the, the top coat wasn't enough. So I ended up doing this and putting a clear coat of UV resin all over the tentacles. And uh, by doing that at the end, as you see, it's really got that high gloss sheen, picks up every little bit of light, proper slimy. So moving on to panel two, the dark panel, after many, 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 many iterations and trials, I finally came up with the steps and here's how it goes. Step one, putting a very, very thick and also quite wet layer of red across the areas that I want to be red. <laughs> then, then taking some taking some cling film and peeling off some of that red which gives you this texture. Step three, putting salt and a little bit of sugar across the whole piece that's just been textured 
and putting another layer of red which adds another small detail layer of texture across the whole piece. Step four is step one and two again in certain areas for contrast. Step five and six is using paint splatter and airbrush splatter to add contrast. Step seven, softening the edges that are going to blend into the blackness with an airbrush. Step eight, and possibly one of the most important, is salt around the edges and a spray can spray around the edges. So after all that was done, I made a 3D silhouette of Spider-Man in his black suit that I wanted to be just slightly extruded from the PlayStation because I wanted the webbing coming out of his back, the Venom webbing, to be made out of UV resin so that it was both very, very glossy and also had a bit of texture, rubber texture to it. So after that, it was on to step nine, and uh, that was putting on the venom tentacles again, the veins coming across, trying to get in to the scene. Now, I wanted them to be more like veins in here. I thought that the tentacles were a bit too flowy and not as aggressive as I wanted this side and this piece to look like. The red gives a very aggressive look because he's now become... He's not, he's not very nice when he's got the black suit on, let's just say that. Uh, so I wanted the veins to give that more aggressive look. Lastly, I added the webbing, and we are ready to see how this turned out.
So there we have it guys, my limited edition Spider-Man 2 PS5 custom panels. Um, let me know what you think of these guys, like what do you think of the tentacles? Do you think I should have gone a different way with some slightly more black and white tentacles or maybe some blue tentacles or thinner tentacles? Let me know of the overall piece, let me know down below. Um, if you want to buy some of these then they will be on my Etsy store Martin Customs Limited or you can email me at martin at martincustomslimited.com or if you want to win one of these then answer this riddle. This riddle represents the character of the next franchise that I'm working on. When the moonlight hits this city, the hero hides in the dark of night, for I am the villain that incites chaos tonight. Who am I? So if you could answer that riddle, you'll be entered into a raffle next year. And if you win, you could pick anything from my Etsy store. And if you want to buy this from my Etsy store, you know, you can customize it any way you want. You can make the tentacles black with white venom veins. I'm open to customization options. Just email me or leave a comment down below. But yeah, other than that, if you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much for the support. And uh, YouTuber bits, you know, um, what the YouTubers say. Uh, scribe on a wall to notify your friend of my video so that they might like it. Like this. Like this. Like, like this video. Yeah? Thanks. Bye!